I, I, I can't tie a rope, it's vlogging day 962. I was just vulnerable with you there, don't tell anybody. Good morning. I want a waffle. I haven't had a waffle in a long time, and so let's, let's get to the Peloton. I need, I need food and coffee to be a good way to start the day. Carrying this thing through the metro is uh, not a bad way to go, but I'm still kind of fatigued. <laughs> takes it out of you, especially the really long transfers. Anywho, almost to the waffle. I haven't been down to the Peloton for a little bit. I have to talk with Christian at some point about uh, plots and plans. Just uh, getting enough time with these guys can be a challenge because they're very busy between running a cafe and running a tour company. They got a lot going on, it's a fact. But at the very bare minimum, even if we can't meet now and we end up meeting later, at least I'll be able to get a good cup of coffee and a waffle. And it's hard to complain when you've got a good cup of coffee and a waffle in front of you. That's my whole story. Plus, I have a busy day ahead of me. We'll figure this, well, I'll tell you about it here in a minute. Dixie, I don't know what this is, but it just arrived. I love coming in here. It's like, just sit here and wait for mail to show up. It's also probably fairly backlit, sorry about that. It says socks on the outside. What? Ooh, Space Invader, did you see? They're like um, Pac-Man meets Space Invader socks. Pac-Man fighting Space Invaders sounds like a terrifying way to go. The dark between the stars. Oh, poetry. Ooh, thank you, a book of poetry and a card. Dixie, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I've been wanting to read a little bit more poetry lately, so this is actually a good fit. And they look like they're very, very uh, consumable, like very small and very beautifully laid out. Thank you. As you come to a surprise to absolutely nobody, the Peloton is in the game. And it's gonna make a whole lot more sense. We're definitely launching on March 11th. Hold on. Anywho, we're definitely marching on, marching, we're definitely launching on March 11th. That's the goal with whoever we have, with whatever we've got going and we'll figure it out from there. So that means March 11th is when the video will launch, the video will go live. Uh, that explains everything. Puts it into the necessary context, hopefully gets you guys started, but that's really exciting. There's, there, there's, there's more to talk about there, but I have two more meetings this afternoon that I've got to go to that I'm looking forward to, which means I got to go home and I got to print some more things off. So let's go home. But first, let's take a quick ride along the river just for the fun of it. Time to take a route that has a very, that has a shorter transfer. Ugh. Gotta completely rethink how I travel around this city now that I'm lugging this wheel around with me everywhere I go. I got a bunch of supplies that I needed, but it's raining, which is miserable. <laughs> That's not so bad. Just can't really see very well, but who needs to see? I mean, really, seeing's overrated. Anywho, two more meetings today. I gotta print off a few more contracts. Bought a stapler so I can actually staple them together because that'll be a lot nicer. And a new portfolio, keep everything organized a little bit better. I think it'll all work out pretty well here. The real annoyance, of course, is that if it's gonna rain, 
especially if it's gonna rain hard, I probably shouldn't ride the wheel, both because I can't see and also because, you know, electronics. It can handle a little bit, but... <sighs> I mean, I'm, I mean I'm, I'm, I'm overall pretty happy that there's some rain, but for the, it's not fun for wheeling around. On we go. Now we go from rain to sun. I put on my sunglasses, but I have a feeling that in the next like five minutes they're gonna be rendered completely useless. Anywho, next meeting with Zia, Justin over at Zia, should be good. Just looking forward to hanging out a little bit more. He's an American guy. He opened Zia a couple years ago and he's opening a new spot here now. And we have some plots, of course, for the future, but before we can meet, I gotta get there. And uh, the wheel should get me there quickly enough. Delicious coffee here at Zia. Thanks, Justin. Yeah, you're welcome. Appreciate it. He's opening a new restaurant around the corner, so we're gonna go check that out right now. Hold on, it was my... Good, just making sure my audio is actually on. Check that out right now because you have a market-based menu that you're gonna be moving over to that restaurant, right? That's right, yeah. I do, uh, during the weekday, a menu that changes every week based on what's available at the market, and I'm just moving into a bigger space where it's gonna be more focused on those seasonal products. Justin's one of those um, classic Parisian situations where the dude used to work for Michelin-starred restaurants, just happened to open up his own little coffee shop and now he's taking over down near the Eiffel Tower. So we'll jump inside here, actually. Check this out. We're gonna come back and follow the progress a little bit because I'm kind of fascinated by the whole opening a restaurant in Paris thing. That's uh, Oh, wow. It smells old school. Yeah. The Bistro du Monde. Is this the uh, super old school light switches? Oh, this is amazing. So it's all these funky old buttons that light up when you... That one. <laughs> it's like a Christmas tree. Yeah. <laughs> so all of this, the whole place will get gutted. You're gonna trash this place, huh? I mean, it's already is trashed, I guess, but... I mean, uh, yeah. You're gonna professionally trash it next. Exactly. Now, should end up being about a 40-seat restaurant in the end. We're gonna make the kitchen a bit bigger and uh, finish up the downstairs, add some heating in the floors. That'll be really cool. Be cool. This is a lot bigger. Oh, yeah, it's so much more space. It's already more than twice the size in terms of seating. Oh my gosh. This is gonna be cool. So he's gonna have both places open. Zia's gonna be kind of a... What, how would you describe Zia's menu? You're gonna turn it into a little bit of more a standardized coffee shop type so menu? So it's gonna be more like focus on brunch menu items and that kind of stuff uh, with a few daily specials and things like that that'll rotate. Yeah? Yeah. And then this place is gonna be your market your market. Yeah, so this menu. will be lunch and dinner. We'll do more proteins and some vegetarian options, maybe some to-go sandwiches for lunch. And then dinner will be more focused around like wine and and food and things like that. If you guys are interested in learning more about what it takes to actually open a restaurant in Paris, leave a comment below. Let us know if you're curious about that because I think I'm gonna hit this guy up for as much information as humanly possible and share it with you. Here? Yeah. And then we're gonna do somewhat of an open kitchen format. So it'll come out to here yeah. and then be windows and like a half. Door. Oh, that'll be really nice. This is a tiny, tiny kitchen. How do you make, I guess all you can make back here is crack monsieur. Uh, I think that that's all he did make back there, the previous <laughs> guy. It's about, but, about the right amount of space for that. Yeah, but there's really nothing here that's worth keeping. All this stuff is pretty old and didn't. They took the mirrors and stuff? That's where the bathroom is, I'm assuming. So there's the bathroom, there's a cob down here, which is actually pretty cool. A cob? Oh, nice. So, so this stairway will get taken out. Oh, yeah. This will give you an idea how old this oh, is. Oh, my gosh. This is all like... Super old electric. I was gonna. So I have a feeling you're gonna be, to be redone. yeah, redoing a lot of electronics here. And like these are the old fridge systems. So all of the cooling, all of the fridge was like one element that was actually cooled from this motor down here, and then that was all sent up. And then this also cooled part of this walk-in fridge. So the walk-in fridge will clean up, and this will stay. Is this it? Oh, this is for the street. This is the. the... So well, this kind of this goes right into the middle of the dining room. So oh, it's really? cool. Like. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, someone will get some exercise, I guess, bring it on. Oh, wow, that takes a lot of extra out. pumping, yeah. Does it open the door with the tip there? Is that yeah. how that works? Let's see if I can get up there. Oh, wow. Oh, that's pretty cool. Wow. Your kids are going to want to.
Justin's a great guy. I'm, in, I'm enjoying getting to know more about him. I didn't actually know that he was a chef that worked in Michelin star restaurants in the past. The breakfast burrito at Zia is what I am all about personally. I'm gonna ride my wheel for a little bit just to enjoy it because the weather has gotten supremely wonderful during that meeting. I gotta go to another place called Olio de Zia for sure. In the game, they are signed and everything. The third one's officially signed on. Now, to see if we can't get Olio de signed on, they'll be number four, but I have a feeling we might have to wait for them. They built something. They built a big giant thing here at Les Invalides and I do not know what that is. And of course it's for fashion week. They're selling shoes. They built this entire, they basically built this entire store. It's like a temporary store for fashion week. This town just goes nuts for fashion week. It was pretty much without saying at this point that I love living in this city, but the, the thing that I'm really excited about now that I've been here for two years and as I try to, you know, figure out ways to give back to the city is also the fun, I, there are just so many cool people here and it's hard. Paris is a very isolating city at times, like any big city. I think any big city is actually fairly isolating in its own strange ways, right? Smaller communities are generally easier to get into, but the community that is here and the opportunity to build an interesting community while here, to make friends, to get to know the city better, to get to know the people of the city better. I'm still not gonna get into too many details yet, but I'm just, I'm just having a good time. And if nothing else, as long as I can make some new friends along the way, find some fun new ways to appreciate Paris as I'm doing it, well, sign me up. Ah oui. Oh, c'est tout, tout dans le burger Pas tout, parce que j'ai goûté, je voulais voir si comme ça c'est bien ou comme ouais. ça c'est bien, comme ça c'est bien, comme ça c'est bien, comme ça c'est bien. Ah oui, Donc, fait les, fait les, les, les tests. Ouais. Vincent's one of the guys, like you've seen Goku before, and it's in my guide, as well as his other place, W for Walk, which is still closed for one more month, unfortunately. Yeah. One more month. But it's so good, Asian street food. Anyways, this is like Asian fusion. He makes different burgers, and this is loaded with Japanese mm -hmm. goodness of some sort. Is it the first, mm. first test? First try, you got some uh, some seaweed stuff. You mm -hmm. got some spicy. You got some crispy. You got two kind of cheese made by Japanese in mm -hmm. France. Mm -hmm. And uh, I cut myself the beef. Did you? But I saved the wagyu for the video on Monday. <laughs> I don't want to waste the wagyu just for the test. You know? mm. Everything is good here. Mm -hmm. There's a good spot. I met Vincent on um. Fête de la musique. Fête de la musique. Yeah, that's right. He hooked me up with some food, and I've never stopped coming back since. So give him a try. This is not where I was going to have a meeting. I'm going somewhere else. But I saw that he was sitting in here and had to stop by because I want him to be in the game too. So we'll see if we can make that happen. Unexpected extra meeting. Vincent's a nice guy. He's always trying new things. Like he's really passionate about his food. He's won some awards for it, and he's making a YouTube video tomorrow with somebody who's got like millions of followers. Apparently, don't even know who that is. Hopefully, they have a nice time together. And make a great video. In the meantime, time to go finally to Olio de to get that meeting done with. That place is legit. I cannot wait to have a meet up there. Oh man, it's gonna be awesome. Anyways, Guillaume Thibault, those are the owners of that spot, along with another one which we'll visit at some point here. I've tried to visit and failed. We'll get to it. They're officially in the game. Oh yes! feeling really good about this. It has been a good day, a very busy day, very full day. I need to print off a bunch of more contracts. Oh man. And I'm, I wasn't kidding, it's been a very full day. I gotta wrap up because I have a lot of work I need to get done in the next few days and that includes this evening. So I will see you bright and early tomorrow morning for yet more running around Paris, hanging out with cool people and doing fun things behind the scenes. Information forthcoming. Thank you for being patient. Really appreciate it. I'm really looking forward to seeing how it all turns out. And uh, yeah, see you tomorrow for whatever tomorrow turns out to be. Probably good stuff. Mm -hmm.